Hey there, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot forecast for the week starting July 30th, 2023. Quick reminder, if you're watching your rising sign forecast, remember your rising sign is going to give you additional clarity as to how a great deal of your sun sign forecast is showing up. And your moon sign is giving you the less prominent, albeit still significant, side story that's also playing out throughout the course of the week. If you ever want to get a session with me, go on ahead to my website, integrativemysticism.com, or follow the links in the down bar below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, engagement helps this channel out a lot. So what's going on when it comes to your week? Well, your big spiritual theme or your big focus is the Two of Swords, reversed. And this week is going to be all about finally getting commitments that have been up in the air locked in. Uh, especially when it comes to situations where you may have been waffling a little bit or you have not made up your mind or maybe certain decisions were left in the hands of other people, institutions, or you've been kind of feeling like your life is in flux, the Two of Swords reversed is going to be bringing in a new sense of order. This is also going to be a time, however, where you are going to have to start parsing out things where you can't always have your cake and eat it too. In fact, you might need to see where having things that are incompatible with other priorities in your life are what's keeping all areas of your life maybe in flux, right? We're maybe trying to have too much at once, or we're trying to make things that don't fit, fit. And with the Two of Swords reversed, it is going to get all sorted. We are going to get a chance to reorganize it, but it's time to get clear with ourselves about what we really desire and get organized about how we're going to get it. Uh, because the Two of Swords reversed is indicating a lot of these commitments and a lot of these road shifts are going to be long-term, semi-permanent, or even permanent. And so we don't want to meander through this week caref carelessly. When it comes to material circumstances, your work, your job, your finances, practical affairs as it relates to your home and family life, you've got the Queen of Swords upright. And the Queen of Swords upright is always coming with answers, always coming with solutions to back you up. Now, the Queen of Swords is all about solving problems, eliminating blocks, and helping get people, again, into their best lane or onto their best path. This could be a problem solver opportunity with relation to maybe some kind of block, obligation, burden, or hindrance in a financial or professional matter, or maybe even something relating to an investment or a living situation. However, with the Queen of Swords, the solution is perfect, but it might be a bit tougher or heavier handed than you maybe wanted to implement. You've got to be okay with being tougher, though, this week, because what this person is bringing to the table is the answer that maybe you've been looking for, even though it might not be coming in the way you've been looking for it. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Two of Pentacles reversed. And the Two of Pentacles reversed can be very similar to the Two of Swords reversed because we are making space, we are seeing commitments getting made, and a lot of clutter, a lot of um, distractions, and a lot of problems are getting out of the way. With the Two of Pentacles reversed, you may be hearing something from an ally or from a friend or a relative or somebody close to you that has made a decision to drop something or walk away from something that has been highly problematic for them, but has also come between you working with them or being close to them in some way. Now, this could be a job change. This could be an association change. This could be them finally give, giving themselves more space, more time, more freedom. But it does also bring their connection and the work they can do with you much more uh, easily available and brings you guys closer. When it comes to your challenge this week, you've got the Knight of Pentacles reversed. And the Knight of Pentacles reversed is basically saying, be careful about holding onto things just because you've been holding onto them for a while. The Knight of Pentacles reversed can be a warning about uh, a hamster wheel kind of experience or people who might be trying to trap you in a hamster wheel experience, especially if the Knight of Pentacles reversed as a person. And what can happen here is that sometimes our ideas of, say, like loyalty or tradition or commitment or duty might actually keep us loyal or dutiful or, um, you know, attached to things or to people or to paths that are actually unhealthy, right? Loyalty doesn't mean some, you're loyal to something healthy. 
Duty doesn't mean you're dutiful to something healthy. Attachment doesn't mean you're attached to something healthy. And sometimes the Knight of Pentacles reversed is indicating, hey, there's a warning here. We need to make sure that we are not just giving our loyalty, our sense of duty or attachment away freely, and we don't need to leave it where, has, where it has been working against us at all. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you have the Five of Wands upright. And things seem to be getting pretty active here. Um, the Five of Wands is all about rivalry. It can be about conflict, it can be about competition, and it can also indicate quarreling at times. Now with the Five of Wands, it usually has to do with a debate about a future or debates about a path ahead. For those of you who are single or are available to new people, you may be having a situation like this go on with somebody that you meet this week right out the gate. Or you might be having this with somebody that you've been seeing or that you're interested in, but the relationship has not been codified yet. For those of you who are curious, yes, sometimes this can indicate a love rival showing up in the picture for those of you who are maybe seeing somebody casually or are not official yet. Um, whether or not they're officially a rival or not, but, you know, that's up for debate, but that can happen. When it comes to those of you who are coupled or are married, the Five of Wands really has more to do with a, a debate or even a quarrel or a conflict around who is getting to do what they want to do. Uh, what direction is the relationship going in? How are we running this thing? How are things going for us? Or maybe it's a fight about a certain person, right? A family member, a friend, a relative, an in-law. And, you know, what's the right way to be handling this particular topic? This may be something where we just need to get everything out in the open because holding back is not going to help us sort this. So, you know, just be prepared. It can be constructive. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on head to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Mm -hmm.